Welcome to the Fro Knows Photo.com. I am the Fro. Today we are talking about SD cards. What the different classes mean, what the different speeds mean, what do you really need? So this is this is interesting because there are different speed classes. You have the slowest cards. There are two class two. You have class four. You have class six, and they now make a class ten. They skipped eight. I don't know why they skipped eight, but somebody now has ten. Now, what the different speeds mean? Two, four, six, ten. That's the the amount of data that it can transfer and how quick it can do it. Uh, the slower cards are just very slow. But if you have a basic camera that doesn't take advantage of the high speed writing, you don't need to spend more money on a more expensive card. Now, if you want to transfer your images quicker from the computer, sorry, from the camera to the computer, the faster card will transfer faster if you have a quicker card reader. So they make different speed card readers as well. There's the high speed ones that are designed, like SanDisk makes one just for their high speed cards, which is, what's this, this is a class six. So this is what they say, 20 megabytes a second transfer. So it will transfer quicker using their own card reader. But where a faster SD card will come in handy is if you have one of the new Canon video cam, well, Canon digital SLR video cameras, they have to write a lot of data quickly. Are there scissors in the background being played? Sounded like scissors in the background. I'm, I must be hearing things. Anyway, um, I thought they were trying to cut my hair in the background. But where was I? Digital SLRs that take video, HD, and use SD cards, you need to use a faster card. Because if you don't, if you use a slow card, you're not going to be able to write quick enough from the camera to the card to record in HD. So it all depends on the use that you're going to use the card. If it's just for a point and shoot, the slowest card is perfect. If it's for doing video, you may want to spend a little bit more money on a faster card so that you can get the transfer rate higher. And when you're transferring 8 gigs or 16 gigs to the computer, you don't want to wait an hour to do that. So depending on your time and how much money you want to spend, it, you could get the faster card. Um, and now in the Pro SLRs, say like the Mark IV Canon takes an SD card and it does video, I'm pretty sure that that one, you can record the video using SD. You're going to want to use the higher speed card. Um, so there you go, you have your class 2, 4, 6, 10 different speeds. So if you're doing video, you want to use a faster card. If you're just doing stills and you're not outrunning your camera, just use a regular speed card and save the money. So that's the fro on SD cards. Oh yeah, and they're coming out with newer cards. These class, uh, the SDHC cards, which these are, only go up to 32 gigabytes before they hit the ceiling. So now they have an X, uh, an XH, whatever, SX, SXHC, something like that, which can go up to two terabytes, theoretically two terabytes. So that's about it. Any questions, let me know. See ya.